Hello guys and welcome back, it's Big John here, that's my at at the bottom of the screen, if you want to check out my music on Instagram, you know what to do, you can follow me on there as well, more stuff coming soon, just making sure we get to the bottom of Forex as we should be doing if you're interested in Forex. Today what I'm going to be doing is teaching you about the 2 and 7 moving average crossover on the daily chart, I'm going to call this method easy, the easy strategy, that's what we're going to call this one today, so let's go straight into it. First, you're going to open up your MetaTrader app. Now, this method works on any currency pair that I've seen at the moment. So we're going to go through random things just to check. So let's go to AUD USD and let's see what happens. So first, you're going to go to F. Then you're going to add a moving average to. I'll just leave this on purple for now. So it's going to be period two, shift zero, method simple, apply to close and style will be four pixels and you can make it whatever color you want i'm just going to make it purple for now then we're going to press f again and then we're going to add another moving average through the main chart window and then we're going to press moving average and then we're going to make this one a seven and then it's going to be shift zero method simple apply to close style four and then we're going to change this color to let's make this yellow Yep, so you can see now I've got the candles and I've got my moving averages on my candlestick chart. We're going to go back to F again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a stochastic oscillator. So we scroll down. Stochastic oscillator. Make the period. It will come like this. This is the default setting. So you're going to change the K period to 14. Uh, D period, leave on free. Slowing, leave on free. Price field, leave on low slash high. Method simple. I like to change this color to a lighter green. And then just go to done. Here we go. So now what we're looking for is we're looking for crossovers in a daily chart. This is a daily method. So this is for people that are very busy. You know, they might have to go to work. They don't want to check their charts every second to see or find a trade. You know, they just want to get into the day and or go through their charts, the currency pairs, and see what they can trade. So what you're going to do now is notice how here, M's and W's, which I'll make another video on soon, M's and W's are being drawn out on the bottom of my stochastic oscillator. This being an M, look at that, M. Yeah, and then now we'll go to a W. And we'll find a W, W here. This is a W, as you can see here, going up. That's what Forex is made up of, M's and W's. That's how the charts move. You just got to be able to spot them. Like I said, I'll make a video on that soon. So look out for that video. Make sure you subscribe so you can see that video coming soon. Anyway, so now let's get straight to the point. So if you go to anywhere on your charts, let's just pick somewhere random. As you can see here, what do we have here? We only trade the second legs of the M's or W. Now this will be here. So notice how down here it comes up for the M. This is the first part of the M. Then it goes down for the V, then it comes up again, and this is what we call the second leg of the M or W. Look how it's going down. This is the second leg, so the last line. And then notice here on the candlestick charts, what did we see here? We saw a 2 and 7 moving average crossover right here, and what did the candles do? They went down. See, look at that's an excellent trade. Look at that. And this is a trade over how many, remember these are daily candles. So it's going to take a whole 24 hours for these candles to close, to finish. So that's one day, two day, three day, four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days, 10 days, 11 days, 12 days, 13 days, 14 days, 15 days, 16 days, 17 days, 18 days, 19 days, 20 days, 21 days. You could have traded bearish momentum for 21 days. Now imagine that. So all, every day you would have to just go back to your charts. You would have set your stop loss somewhere up here. And then you would have been able to just ride this all the way down. And you could have trailed your stop loss so you don't lose profit. So you could have put your stop loss here. Then when you got down here, you could have put it somewhere around here if you wanted to. Wherever. You don't have to take my word for where you'll put your stop loss. Let's find another one. Just find a W. Here we go. Here's a W. Notice here again. So go to the oscillator at the bottom. Let's zoom in a bit. Here we go. Oscillator at the bottom. Look, it goes down. So look where I'm going. This is the first leg. The M's and the W's connect together. So this would have been the last leg of an M, second leg of an M, and it would go down into the, it would also be the first leg of the W. Goes down, comes up for the V, 
goes down, comes here. And what would we be doing here? We'd be looking to trade the second leg of the W, just like the M. Go to the candlestick charts. And then what you would see here is a crossover happen there. Two and seven moving average. And look what happened there. Goes up. Now, you wouldn't have stayed in this trade forever. Remember, these are daily candlestick charts. So whenever you see the profit you've got, you take that profit and you run. Look here. One, two, three, four. I would have personally come out around here. And that's four days you would have had to be able to check your, your charts and see the profit you're in. Let's go to another currency pair. Let's go to let's go to this NZDJPY. Uh, people do trade majors, but let's go to um, one that might not be considered a major. Go here. Let's draw a W out. So let's see. Yep, here we go. Here's a W right here. This is a very big W. So sometimes the M's and W's might be different. Remember to take that into account as well. So as you can see, this is a massive W forming from here, going here, coming down and coming up. And what leg would we have traded? We would have traded the second leg. And look here. Look at the crossover here. Crossover happened. I'll zoom in for you crossover happened here and you would have had how many days to trade this going all the way up if we go to xau usd as you can see here i've shown you another pair before but we will go to gold just to show you that it works on gold of course because this is a gold group as you can see here there was a crossover here just here and look at that bearish move through the days going down and then also look at this this is why gold did that strong bullish move going up recently look at that crossover daily chart all the way up wow it's amazing it does this time and time again let's find another one here there was a w here look at that w here drawing it out first leg v second leg what we trade and crossover happened here and what happened went up you have to be patient when you're trading daily you have to be patient but it does work when you're trading daily it definitely does work it's that simple. If you like this method, like I said before, subscribe. Nice and simple. I'll keep this video quick and straight to the point. Um, if you want to get into my Telegram group, please DM me and let me know through Telegram. I'll put the link um, below. And if you want to drop anything in my cash app, because I, like I said, I'll be putting out this game, man. I'll be finding these strategies and I'll be saying, yo, yo, look at this. Look at this. I'll be screaming this from the rooftops. Look at this. You know, so yeah, let's get this work. Okay, then. Um, I love you guys, man. And peace.